clicked on Brahms' face by accident. Anyway, uh, <laughs> hello everyone and welcome to episode number 65 of the Chronicles of Tyria podcast, a Guild Wars 2 podcast for fans by fans. On this week's episode, we'll be talking about the Twilight Assault patch, a couple other interesting things that have happened. Um, yeah, so I'm here with Naveen and Brahms. Hey guys. Uh, yes, to anybody who's with a keen eye who's recognized that I'm not in my man cave, I am away from uh, business, so I'm off. I'm in a hotel right now, but that does not stop me from making sure we get the podcast out to you guys. And I just want to point out that my son is sick and he's crying right now, so you guys take it away. I'll be right back. Okay. Right. That's the right. take it away sound, just in case everybody. Uh-huh. So <laughs> no, Naveen is still home. Um, if we get really bored uh, towards the show, or it just starts dragging on, maybe I'll give you guys a tour with my laptop. You can see my hotel room. If you get really bored, um, that would be delightful. But, uh, you don't know. This is a nice room. It's a king size suite, my friend. It probably has no a joke. bed. And a picture behind you in a lamp. It does. Two I have lamps. two TV. I have two TVs. Wow. Um, also, if I put a list of what groceries I want, the people that are here will go out and buy me those groceries and put them in my fridge. That's pretty Pretty bad. cool. That happens to me, except I have to go get the groceries and put them in my <laughs> fridge. <laughs> anyway. All righty. So, uh, I guess we'll start off with, uh, as you guys know, it's the 3rd of October. Therefore, it is time for a monthly drawing. So, I don't have any fanciful things, and I can't use a spinner or any of that stuff. Um, because I just, I'm just i on my laptop, and I don't have that kind of functionality here. And it's just kind of complicated to do it all on one screen. So, uh, we had four people eligible for, uh, I really hope that coffee doesn't overflow. <laughs> we had four people eligible for uh, the drawing for the month. So I think this is just going to kind of be, I'll spin the paper and just kind of do one of those bad boys to figure out who wins. I'm sorry, guys. I don't, like I said, I don't have anything <laughs> fancy for this. We can or just actually, ed- hang on, I know. With fancy graphics. Naveen, pick a number between one and four. <sighs> Two. <laughs> Son. Son wins. Congratulations. Son, Congratulations. Son, you win the monthly drawing for a prize for participation. Uh, and congrats to Amy, if you're watching or not. You are most participation this month. Nice. Uh, Good job, yeah. Amy. Amy face. Uh, just so you guys know, we did have a little bit of screw ups with our participation tracker due to some people not thinking that the week starts on a Sunday, thinking it starts on a Monday, and ugh, <laughs> just a pain. It's not my it's fault. Those, it's not. It's it's really not. For but anyway. once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, last week though, we had a question of the week, which was. What do you think about all this living story stuff? It was a really cop out question, but what? I think the that exact was a good question. I think the exact words were, "What do you think about everything we just said?" So that's, that's legit. Right? <laughs> I don't even uh, remember. <laughs> we got one response that I saw. Did we? Did anybody see any other ones? Uh, no. Nothing else on uh, negative skull on the YouTube's. <laughs> nope. <clears throat> Okay, well, then we got one response from Marnik, and he said, My opinion of the living story is as follows. Anet has to focus on a plan that's long-term, uh, long-term good, such often implies that it can be short-term bad. That's a pain, but hey. Anet didn't disappoint with Guild Wars 1, and I'm fairly sure in hindsight it was the correct decision when counting the course corrections. The living story has never been done before. Furthermore, tiered content updates like wow does merely implies updates don't exist for me i couldn't kill the lich king my character wasn't even epic by the time the next expansion destroyed it 
At the very least, I can experience the living story regardless of my gear, level, achievement points, or stuff like that. I do technical support for a mid-sized industrial company. My problems are invariably in the range of millions of euros per day. Compare that to 10 minutes of the trading post being down and the reactions on the forums. Nice. Furthermore, most of my customers are either PhD or engineers compared to whatever lives on the forums. <laughs> All my dreams of ever being a game dev shattered Let's... with the internet becoming what it is today. Uh oh. I'd rather stick with problems that matter and people who understand. People claiming that Anet has to fire their entire lore staff is actively trying to kill PvP or doesn't care about their game except Gem Store don't help. It's insulting, demoralizing, and in the end, uh, and the end effect, destructive for the game they claim to like. I tend to give people the benefit of the doubt. Thus far, Anet always proved they deserve that, even if it took a while to see the long-term effects of short-term bad things. Kind regards, Marnik. That was a really good response. Yeah. Worth it. I like it. Good job, Marnik. You will get some degree of gold. Do you want me to roll? I've got a dice here. I can roll it and so figure what's out. What's outside die? Uh, it's eight, but I'll only go up to five somehow. Don't worry. I'm on it. It came up a seven, so that's going to be two. Wow. Okay. What? <laughs> if it was eight, it was going to be five. Trust me. How does that work? How did you calculate that? Because maths. Um. No, he, he's, a, he's a gamer. We know how to... We, a lot of the time you end up having a backwards work when you have a higher die because you don't have like a four-sided or a three-sided. You use a six or an eight to yeah. backfill. Anyway, two gold to morning. What you have to do is take the integer of the coefficient of two and add it to the negative <laughs> value of the root of eight and you get two gold. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's how I did it. This is what we're going <laughs> to... Nice. Okay. <laughs> one yeah. plus one equals fish. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Caroline. <laughs> Someone um, skipped their math classes. <laughs> Naveen, did you have a uh, meme to bring the show by? Yes. The show brought to you by? <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring the show by. <laughs> this uh, Guys, episode. It's, been a rough day. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. We <laughs> forgive you. I mean, Thanks. you got flowers hanging out in your wall, for God's sake. Like, I know, right? <laughs> Beautiful. No, no, don't, don't kill the wall. Don't kill it. The you should definitely. They're not take real. Ones. They're fake. Don't kill the fake Relax. flowers. Shh. Now it's I'm all caught that, up in my. It's not that nice of a hotel, then, is it? Can't have real. But flowers. then he's gonna have to pay for them. Anyways. <laughs> so the the show's brought to you by this uh, COT podcast. Uh, Episode is brought to you by the SpongeBob meme. I'll have you know I loaded Lion's Arch and it only took 15 minutes. <laughs> Damn straight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're welcome, that? Internet. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, what? Did you guys not expect that? No. No, okay, and now yeah, I feel yeah, like I'm going to no. wake up in the middle of the night to that sound, <laughs> and it's going to be horrifying. <laughs> that was very good. Uh, uh, tip my hat to you. Uh, That's what hats huh. do. <laughs> I'm yes, sorry. Yes. I'm sorry, guys. I can do a fair amount of different of voices, and that, that that's one of them. The trick is, with your finger, if you... I don't know how it works for ladies, but with dudes on your Adam's apple... No. You go up and down. Uh, oh, I don't. I that. can't. Do that. <laughs> like that. This, this is the most disturbing <laughs> thing I've ever heard in my entire That's life. What odd moments of the COT podcast. Um, I don't many. have an Adam's apple, so it doesn't work. I don't, yeah. I'll, oh, I'll wait. Just go, go swallow a golf ball real wait. quick. And then as it's going down, just. <laughs> 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 This is SpongeBob choking on the game. <laughs> uh, um, all right. Guild Wars 2. Moving on. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, uh, anyway, if you're listening to us on iTunes uh, and you would like to watch us live every Thursday, regardless of location, mm -hmm. twitch.tv slash Chronicles of Tyria. Um, 
I did see some people say on our some of our YouTube say when are these going to end up on iTunes? I don't know if you saw that, Naveen. Huh? I wasn't uh, listening. The- <laughs> was reading a chat i'm sorry this is what happens during a live show i get distracted because of the chat there was uh, the norn the norn lore cast yes they were wondering when it's going to be up on itunes it was weird because it was already on itunes and for some reason it was only showing to a small amount of people because we had like 70 downloads already on it um which is very small compared to what we usually get (laughs) so that's how i could tell you know but mm-hmm. I've updated everything, and it's on iTunes now, so. Okay. Group. Group. All right. Um, while we're talking about that, I think I was planning on saying this later, but uh, if you guys were interested, Brahms and I did COT versus episode number one. Nice. Um, it had some technical difficult, a lot of technical difficulties. A lot of the stuff we recorded disappeared. Um, it just didn't record. <laughs> Nice. So we re-recorded a lot. Uh, it has the Power Rangers theme song playing the whole time. So if nice. you guys like Power Rangers, because it's Ranger versus Ranger. I tried to make my character. <laughs> I tried to make my character look like the Green Ranger. I tried to do that as best I could. It's hard to do that with medium armor, though. Everything looks like trench coats. Hmm. Uh, but check that out. We're looking. I have a couple ideas for shows, but we are looking for viewer submissions. If you have uh, random builds, if you want to make up crazy builds, you have a theme you want to see, uh, you know, whatever that is. It's Halloween. Maybe you've got necro vampire themed episode, necro versus something. I don't know. Come up with that, and we'll we'll try and run it for you guys. If not, we'll run our own. So... Hmm. Uh, if you want to get Naveen in there, tell us, hey, I want Naveen to play. Have Naveen come in and do this, and we'll see if we can't convince Naveen to do it. But I'm scared of real people. I don't pay they pay. It would only be against us in a custom arena. And we're not real people, so it's okay. You're fake. Yeah, we're internet people. We're not real. Yeah. Okay, I'll do it then. <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> so, Maybe. yeah, let, let us know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, um, that, and we also just put out a Dragon champion base lore cast, so you guys can check that out. Yes, I need to upload that on iTunes. <sighs> <laughs> so, um, I did not have any shout-outs, but, Naveen, I believe you did. I do. I do. Um, wait, let me, let me show Alicardolina in chat my hair, because she's like, oh, Naveen, your hair, look... Isn't that pretty? Okay. Thank you, Ada Cardellina. Oh man, it looks so not grainy on the Twitch stream. I but know, in the right? Skype chat, the Skype yeah. call, I, all I see is just like black. I'm using now another it's... webcam. Oh, I got you. <laughs> I got you. I tricked you. So there oh, yeah. we go. <laughs> um, I do have a shout out to two people. The first one is Akata Venom Twist. Uh, from the guild Penguins and Symbols. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the coolest guild name ever. Um, I huh? I agree. Yeah. He was like, I was um, not AFK, but I was just standing there in Divinity's Reach and because I was chatting and stuff in guild chat. And he stopped by Mimi Waves and he's like, oh my god, you're the girl that plays with dolls. And I'm like, <laughs> that is I. That's awesome. <laughs> For those who don't know, I made this mini video thing. My character playing with dolls anyways. Go check it out on YouTube. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that was interesting. So hi. Thanks for recognizing me. <laughs> um, <laughs> the second one goes to Kyle D., who posted on our Facebook, Hi, COTers! Meaning, everyone in COT, yay! Um, I love this podcast. The humor, the lore, the hosts, and everything else rolled into an absolutely entertaining mix. I would leave seven stars on iTunes, but I actually download and listen to the show through the Beyond Pod app on my phone. So instead, 
I'm leaving 101 stars on Facebook. That's a lot of stars. I believe those are thumbs ups. <laughs> oh. But thank you very much for your support. Yes, thank you. I don't know if you saw, but the first time he commented and said, I don't know how to, I, I don't ever, so how do I leave it on Facebook? And you said, just tell us here on Facebook. Yeah. And then his response was like, oh my God, Naveen, talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I imagine that was the face that was made. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <I can't. laughs> no, sorry, Kyle. I hope that you don't take offense to that. No, it's sweet. <sighs> You're welcome. Um, Hi, Kyle. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Brahms, did you have any shout outs? Uh, no, not really. Uh, you know what? I'm going to give a shout out to all the people watching live. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching live. You're awesome. Woo! Didn't you say something about giving a shout out to Son? Did I? For her drawings? <laughs> um, sure. I did say that. I you think. literally said things close to that. I, I think I said, hey, did you see them on the forum? What, but hey, and then, on and our then, forum, there's these really cool drawings <laughs> by one of our listeners that she does during the podcast. So check them out. Here's your shout out. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> awesome. It's almost like we planned this ahead of time, guys. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hold on. Telling wait. You. Okay. So after the uh, embarrassing shout out, what's next on the list? Um, no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Uh, Naveen, you said something. You want to talk about Guild Wars 2 Live and Pink Day. I don't. Uh, it's gonna be pretty quick. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm drinking coffee. Okay, it's not. It's not just coffee. It's Tim Hortons coffee. It's the Canadians coffee, and it's not just a coffee. It's French vanilla coffee full of sugar. This. No, I'm not supposed to. This is good old Homewood Sweets Hotel coffee made from my sink over there. You guys, <laughs> whew, Connecticut water. Woo. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> yeah. Soapy water. Anyways, yeah. this COT podcast you brought to you by... You don't know water. it's soapy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should be drinking something now, but all I have is a pencil. <laughs> I'm drinking drink. ink. That's, Here. Don't do that. There's not That's ink in a pencil. Coffee. There's lead. Gosh. And maybe in Canadian. Oh, yeah. Pencils. Pen. There's... No, that's because... Of... <laughs> Shut up. In Canada, we write with maple syrup. <laughs> Anyway. That's right. <laughs> Our words are delicious. Anyway, you had something to say. <laughs> what were we talking about? Oh yeah, Dreaming. something about so. good words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I just wanted to let people know if you like streaming. I talked about this on the show last week, but I didn't mention anything because I couldn't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm, uh, uh, I'm part of, uh, the team of new streamers on guildwars2live.com. So if you guys want to see a whole bunch of cool streamers, uh, we stream, of course, Guild Wars 2. Um, there's a whole bunch of, of new streamers, stream, stream, streamers. How many times did I say, say streamers? streamers again? Streamers. <laughs> <laughs> but if you go to guildwars2live.com slash schedule, you can see everyone that are streaming and the upcoming shows that are coming. Um, speaking of streaming, they're going to be streaming the <laughs> Pink Day in LA events on October 17th. If you feel like donating or even just supporting. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to stream because it's a Saturday and I'm really busy on Saturdays. So unfortunately, I won't be able to. But um, <laughs> yeah, Christina in the chat room says, streaming, stream, streamers that stream. <laughs> Yo, dog, I heard you like streaming. <laughs> so I put streamers so in Naveen, your stream so you can stream. <laughs> Naveen, what is Pink Day in LA? So Pink Day in LA, yeah, thanks for reminding me. Like, no one knows. Set me up. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, Pink Day in LA is uh, an event that happens um, throughout the internet streaming <laughs> for Guild Wars 2. It happens in Guild Wars 2 and Guild Wars 1, actually, and there's a whole bunch of events that are going to happen, 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 streaming happen. <laughs> Too much coffee! <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's to, to support uh, breast cancer, but also other types of cancer. Research. The, the research, yeah. For Not support it. No, because <laughs> we research. don't support it at all. 
I shouldn't. Th- this is why I'm not a spokesperson. There you go. Yeah. But go to Guild Wars 2 Live.com. You'll have all the info. <sighs> Coffee. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Naveen. Uh, right. um, to raise breast ca- to Not to raise breasts, but to raise breast cancer awareness. Hey-o, I'm all for that. <laughs> Let's raise them up. Raise them up, people. Awareness. To raise the awareness oh, of the too. breast. I'll bring mine. <laughs> Your breasts? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I did want to got, point out to some people... Um, I mentioned the stuff about CUT verse. I am Lagwin and I am a robot. Just, I'll link it in the chat. I'll link it. <laughs> I'm sure, maybe. Uh, you've been a robot almost my entire stream, so this is weird. That's because you're the problem, dude. You're the problem, dude. See, even but, says, everyone says robot lag. That awesome so hotel. Son, you are everyone, <laughs> in case you were wondering. <laughs> Um, I just posted a map. Oh, go ahead. You sure? Yeah, I was going to interrupt, but that's not nice. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, I sent... Uh, I just linked... There's a map that has the best places to gather Imperial Fragments and Dragonite Ore. Mm. Which are things that are kind of hard to come across. Uh, so... It's actually a pretty good map. It'll show you how about how many you can get per zone of each, which is, is pretty neat. So hmm. uh, if you're looking to craft any kind of Ascended stuff, and we're going to talk about Ascended armor coming up, it'll be good to have that. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. Brahms, you Ooh. had stuff? Um, you stuff? I did, yeah. it's um, The free trial was supposed to end today, but they're extending it for an extra three days, and... I believe the sale is also being extended for the same amount of time. So if you know anybody that might be interested in Guild Wars 2, now is a really good time for them to try it out. And if they like it, they can buy it on sale as long as they do so before the 6th, I believe. So yes, go play. You'll go play. Right Sorry, the 7th. All right. The 7th of October, not the 6th. Are you sure? I am relatively positive. Yes, it says on the seventh on the on the site. Oh, well, okay. Um, I don't know if you guys know <laughs> what time it is. <laughs> is it lag time? What time? It is lag now, time. Yes. What time is it? Zombie lag? in the chat said that it's someone say breast and someone did say that but that was before it has to be rocky so you get mine it has to be rocky so you can mine yeah nice one Brahms. oh that's awesome Yes, guys, I brought the hat with me on my uh, on my business trip <laughs> just for tonight. Uh, uh, no, and it wasn't through airport security. It was only a two-hour drive. But... <laughs> Where are you going with that mining helmet, son? <laughs> Nowhere. Mining helmet? You think they'd be more worried about the pick hammer <laughs> than the mining <laughs> helmet? Hurt anybody with a pick hammer. Everybody knows... You can Challenge slice accepted. and dice people with a hat. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's true. Job did it. Nice. Um, anyway, there were some interesting things data mine. There was something called Extreme Dungeon Running. Was the head was the title for it? Uh, I don't know if you guys saw it. Did you guys see any of this? No. All right. First thing listed under Extreme Dungeon Running is Half Life. And people were freaking out and going, it's Half-Life, Half-Life confirmed through ArenaNet. <laughs> yeah, that's what everybody was saying. Um, but then it has, like, completed. But then, from the sounds of it, it's going to be dungeons, but, like, almost like hard mode, kind of. This is what it seems like, anyway. Uh, it says, complete the dungeon with the fif- with the 50% health gambit active. So... 
Then there's Gambit's one that's Gambit's. yeah, might be Gambit's for dungeons. And it says uh, Leet less, as in L three three T less. Complete the dungeon without using uh, and that that one is complete the dungeon without using utility or elite skills. This what? like I don't know Queen Gauntlet stuff. Yeah, I guess it says one Similar. life to live. Complete the dungeon without going down or dying. Man down. Complete the dungeon with only four players, start to finish. Mm. Touchdown. Complete the dungeon with a party member that is level 70 or lower. Interesting. So, yeah, I don't know if that means they're going to be updating all dungeons, some dungeons. Because a lot of people were talking about getting hard mode for dungeons. And I thought I remember a dev saying, like, absolutely not. There's no way. Well, there's no hard mode, but maybe there's a mode that add gambit. So it's not technically a hard yeah. mode. It's just it's a not hard mode. mode. It's gambit mode. I <laughs> got you. <laughs> then, the thing that's most important: Halloween. <gasps> okay, yeah. <laughs> it uh, it says one of them. One of the things that was mine is candy corn cobs. And it says cobbled together from delicious candy corn. Gobble? Candy corn uh, is not yes. delicious. I don't know how they can use that word in that sentence. What? Candy, candy corn, corn is amazing. If you like chalk, it's delicious. What? What kind Maybe of candy corn? Maybe it's bad out there in Ohio. <laughs> it's all the same candy corn. It comes from one source, which was the 1950s. Trust Ew. me. Rums. Dude. You eat old candies? <sighs> Question of the week: Who likes candy corn? Nobody does. Candy corn. No, yeah, it's what? honey flavored, <laughs> not chalk. Yeah, um, uh, you just made Ella Cardinalina very upset. Yeah, well, you want to fight? <laughs> COT versus episode two. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, candy the fight corn for candy duels. corn. <laughs> I mean, you can argue, but I'm still right. It doesn't. You can't change the truth by a majority. Like, how about the pumpkins? The like the little pumpkins. You eat those. Those are oh, see, Christina's on my side, and she's a chef. I win. Uh, 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 uh. The pumpkins are not as bad because <laughs> made in like the seventies, so they've oh. still got twenty years left before they turn into chalk. <gasps> Maybe now I can't they're my anything. favorite too, Claire. They're my favorite too. We are best friends. Uh, maybe you should try candy corn Oreos, Brahms. They came out last week. <sighs> that doesn't sound last chemical week. at all. I mean, last I year, like, I'm sorry. I like throwing up, but I'm going to pass. <laughs> I'll uh, eat I got some candy corn Oreos at my house. You can come over and have them. No one's ever inviting me. Hey. <laughs> Naveen, you can come too. No. You're but a But Aaron's away, so you need like, you know. A babysitter. Yeah, or, or can, you know, consent to bring a child across international borders or whatever. Yeah. So that's kind of complicated. Yeah. <laughs> A, a babysitter is less complicated. Anyways, data mining yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. data mining. That's weird. Uh, oh, so there's this thing that says uh, Hollow's Fortune Fireworks grants you a bundle item that has 10 charges of red, blue, green, and yellow colored fireworks. No tricks, just treats and colors that can't be beat. And at the end, it gives you a 50% magic fine boost. So I guess it's similar to the bonfires that we have Pretty currently. Cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, Halloween Pale. I don't know what pale? that is. Pale? I'm guessing. Yes, Kale. Uh, oh, Kale? No, Halloween Pale. Like, That's you know, what I like, said. I know. I was just being difficult. <laughs> Maybe Halloween should get out and get some sun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, that would be great as a cell phone uh, ringtone. Make it happen. Maybe anyway. Halloween can get out and get some sun. <laughs> There's a a new mini pack of three new minis. That's like a candy six corn pack elemental. <laughs> candy corn <laughs> elemental. That's awesome. Candy corn elemental mini ghost Carlotta. I don't know Carlotta. if Carlotta is like the spider in Guild Wars One. Was that the name of the spider? Yeah, wasn't it? Wait, I don't know. Let me Google that shit. C A R L O T T A. Carlotta. Guild was one. She's a character from Phantom of the Opera. Is the spider yeah. companion of Shadow? 
They are always found together except when she acts as the guide during passage through the... Wait, that was the preview on Google. <laughs> through the... I don't know. Okay, anyway. <laughs> and most importantly, the third mini pet, Mini Bloody Prince Thorn. All right. Question here, is this Mad King Thorn before he was a king and was a prince? Is this a son of Mad King Thorn? Whoa, whoa, Bloody wait. Prince Thorn mini pet. Prince Thorn? Bloody Prince Thorn. Didn't the Mad King have a son? Uh, yeah, maybe, it, maybe the Mad King is retiring Halloween to his offspring, the Bloody Prince. Well, I think he Ta-da. had a... Um, I think he had a child, but that child was killed, and I think we kind of learned a little bit of that. I'm not sure. <laughs> but, uh... Carlota in the is chat. in Henge of Devon Ravi as the Carlota de Spida. Okay. Um, we're getting some comments here in the chat that are saying it's the brother of the Mad King. Oh. Ah. Interesting. Oh, and to comment back again, sorry uh, to uh, what we had in the chat that regular, it's just regular Oreos with colored frosting. It's not oh, we're going regular back to Oreos with colored frosting. Oh, really it tastes like candy corn. This is important. Something to totally different. <sighs> I need to set the record straight. I mean, the people, inquiring minds want to know. <sighs> I don't have any coffee candy corn, left. Candy corn Oreos taste like candy corn, not just different color frosting. Just like the birthday cake Oreos taste like birthday cake. The peppermint ones taste like peppermint. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, Jack in the Box Scythe. Jack in the Box. My... Are those the... That's the Jack in the Box. Oh. My guess is because we just saw the bone pick that we had. How does that work? Uh, the... Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm guessing that this will be the new uh, harvesting scythe, but it'll be a jack-in-the-box scythe. Groovy. My guess. I don't know. Uh, and then it says, ghost trick-or-treater, assassin trick-or-treater, aviator trick-or-treater. What they are, I don't know. Um, outfits? I mean, yeah, maybe. Or maybe, like, yeah, I really, I don't know. It would be super awesome if we actually got like Halloween um, town clothes that were. <laughs> I, I guess we did. We did last time, but um, it's, yeah. we need more. Like, yeah. The, I'm on the broom. <laughs> yeah. Well, like they had the the Mad King Thorn costume or the. Right. I think that's what it was, right? Basically. Yeah. There was a witch, and then yeah. there was a Mad King. Mad witch that's or Mad right. King yeah. Thorn. Yeah. Uh, and they had like that spooky mask with the glow, the black face with like their red eyes and mouth. Um, oh, I forget what that was called. Demon mask or something. I can't remember. I don't think I oh. got it. So. The red eye mm-hmm. mask of doom. Your mother. <laughs> <laughs> there was another a daily activity section, which, as you guys know, there's a rotation of daily activities like keg brawl and those things. Right. There's a daily activity section, and under it it says activity, gladiator, activity, assassin, activity, lunatic, inquisition. Hmm. So, I believe, lunatic. I got freaked out when I saw that, because I was like, oh my god, lunatic court. Freaking out. Mm -hmm. But I remember lunatic inquisition was one of the... I am robot lad. Game no. types the last time. I believe that was the one where you can either be. <laughs> I can't help. <laughs> it's like it's like your Casey. Oh, internet. Remember yeah. when she was I like know. super laggy all the time? Except I'm now it's you. Now laggy that. super Casey. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh, he's pulling me Casey. <laughs> I guess. <All> right. <laughs> it's funny to me that her home internet is the same as this hotel's Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Um, but yeah lunatic inquisition was something from last time where you it was that kind of like peasants versus mad king thing was it the big like maze thing was that 
Yeah, the one that was really boring because people would just hide. Yeah. I guess that's. I think that's what it was. But maybe, maybe they updated it. I don't know. Um, and then I said there's an activity assassin, activity gladiator. I don't know if those are two new types that have been added in. Hmm. I don't know. And then dub v dub season one. This key will unlock one world v world season one reward chest containing rewards based on your server's performance in the previous season. World v world season reward chests are rewarded at the end of the season to all players who achieve the meta achievement for the season. Um, there's a key, participant bag, achievement chest. Um, here are your spoils for placing first in your league, blah, blah, blah. And some of the new achievements have been unlocked for World v. World. Um, there's one called Big Spender, and it's spend whatever per, uh, number of badges of honor. Hmm. So that's one of the new achievements. Uh, there's an achievement tied to capturing uh, the Bloodlust ru- uh, ruins all around the map. Um, this one is very interesting. It's called the Order of the White Lotus. Huh. And all it says is Order of the White Lotus. And I believe, if I'm reading this correctly, defeat a member of the ArenaNet staff or someone who has defeated a member of the ArenaNet team. Hmm. Whoa. And for those of you who are Avatar The Last Airbender fans, the Order of the White Lotus will ring a bell to you uh, from the kind of secret society of people from, you know, all different bending masters. That's interesting. Uh, yeah. So I think that'd be cool. And I hope there's a title tied with that because that would be pretty cool if you could run around with the title Order of the White Lotus. Uh-huh. <laughs> um... And then just a couple capture sentries, um, capture mercenary camps, um, you know, destroy walls and gates, killing guards. Uh, then it says dawn of the season, start of the season, begin the season, high value target. Um, yeah, and I think there's just going to be meta achievements tied to that. So. That's it. Yeah. That is it that I saw. I mean, the other thing that kind of was mined was the ascended, um, ascended armor, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Cool. So yeah, it's nice Data that mine. there's a lot of stuff this time. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, off goes the helmet. Yeah. Hi, helmet. <laughs> See you in three weeks. Lagwin has hat hair. Ba-da-bum. I do. Yeah. And, he's and I do know. That's what it's like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yo. All right. And he's so... drinking crap coffee. Ba-da-bum. 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 <laughs> 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 Anyway, so on to the actual topic of today's show. We're going to talk about the most recent patch update. Woo! Yeah. Uh, so, I did... Um, first off, I guess let's start small. What did you guys think of all the hairstyles? We kind of talked about it last week, but... I was expecting more. But I like those that are in the trading post right now, except that all the people choose the same hairstyle, so everyone has the same hairstyle now. It's like the human female with long hair and a flower on the side. God damn it, I picked that one. (laughs) Everyone in the guild chose that. Yeah. No, not everyone. I did it first. No, (laughs) you... I did it. (laughs) Totally did it first. Can't claim that. Seriously, as soon as I logged into the game... Everybody off ran off to check the dungeon. First thing I did, change my hair. <laughs> I will say the the nice thing about these hairstyles is that they are definitely higher quality than the ones that the game started with. So yeah. I imagine that means down the road we're gonna get more high quality hairstyles, which is awesome. Um, there's yeah, I mean I I switched my hairstyle, my Silvari. I really like the dreadlocky looking one. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, it's I, I'm. 
I think any any extra customization we get is always going to be good. So I think, yeah, we just need more. I agree. But yeah. it's awesome that we got some at least now. So yeah, awesome. it's nice that you can change the color. It doesn't really look the same. That's the nice thing about it. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it's all the same haircut. It's like everyone, you know, are doing pixie haircuts now. Did you guys even see Felicia Day's new haircut? Why yeah. did you cut your hair, Felicia Day? Why? I like it. I like it. It's cool. It's, it's not, nice, but... but I mean, she had the prettiest of long red hair. Like, now it's just short. Yeah. Uh, I don't like it. She's still a <laughs> but, nice uh, person, but I mean... <laughs> no, she's not. You cut your uh, hair off, you're out. You're out of the club. <laughs> yeah. Um... Well, we did. We did say that we got more. We got each race, male and female, got three new hairstyles, which is nice. Um, but if you saw the, the one like artist live stream with Kristen Perry, she showed a new Silvari face. So that makes me hopeful that sometime in the future we'll get like a wave of this, but it'll be new faces for the characters. So that'll be cool. Yeah. the The thing I really liked about the Silvari hairstyles is that we got one of each type of hairstyle that exists if that makes sense like there's one that looks very plant like like it's it's basically a pine cone coming out of the back of your head <laughs> but it looks good i mean it, it matches the branches and the uh, the spikes that we had before right. and then there's another one that's just a big flower and the last one that's more it looks like real hair sort of and it's got the dreadlocks and stuff so um yeah it's cool they gave us an option for each of those I think it would be uh I think it'd be pretty cool to have like almost long hair for a Silvari, but have it be like weeping willow style like things, you know? Right. Yeah. I think that'd be a cool hairstyle. Oh. Uh, yeah. Now, a lot of stuff happened with this patch, but probably the most notable was Twilight Assault, the removal of the existing forward up path for Twilight Arbor and the installation of this new level 80 zone that has to do with Scarlet. And I personally haven't actually had a chance to play it. So, Brahms, have you? I have. Uh, I really, Maybe, really, you? really like it. Before I... Oh, before... I mean, wait, retract that. No. Okay, Brahms, go. <laughs> I really, really, really like it. Okay. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's a lot of fun. It, it brings in some new mechanics that we haven't seen in other dungeons yet, and it does a really good job of teaching you how those mechanics work before you fight the boss to where you use those mechanics. So that makes sense. Um, it's it's beautiful down there. I mean, it's Twilight Arbor with an Aether Blade feel to it, which is awesome. Um, that I guess the only downside is that it's difficult. So. If you pick up a, a bunch of random people, you might have some, a hard time with it. But I think it's like anything where, you know, the more you learn it, the easier it's going to be. And I think, you know, in, in two weeks, people are going to be blowing through it like it's nothing. So, um, yeah, yeah I, I like it. It was an awesome dungeon. They've done such a good job with their dungeons, the last couple that we've had for Living Story. Um, mm. Yeah, like anytime they announce that we're getting a new dungeon, it's basically like, awesome, we're going to get really good content that hopefully no one's going to, you know, that most people are going to complain about because, yeah, anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to check it out. There were um, a lot of other smaller updates, a big overhaul to some of the stuff in World v. World, like the ability to buy uh, consumables for laurels and badges, and each consumable levels your character up one level in World v. World. Really? So... It's 50 badges and two laurels, and your character levels up. Huh. So I'd say it's definitely worth it, if that's a way you want to go. Yeah. Because, like, I just got my character up to level 31 in <laughs> World vs. World by just buying consumables. See, that that's cool because it gives you something to spend your laurels on in World v. World that matters. Because it, it you're basically, if you don't think of it as buying levels, you're you're basically buying skill points for... The, the various world v world skills um yeah which is good because it, it depending on 
when you play, like, you know, if you're on Tarnished Coast and you're against Sanctum of Raw and Blackgate, you're not going to level up hardly ever. So it's it's nice to have that option in there. Yeah. And, and it's nice because, you know, the consumer will get you at one of the World v. World chests. And there's a chance that in the chest, you'll get a consumable that will also level you up. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice. So, yeah, Hold it's on. definitely so, cool. I heard you So like when Lagwin does it, he's basically going to level up to 500 because yeah. he's the luckiest person in the world. <laughs> yeah. 500? Like, I opened five black lion chests and I got everything in the game. <laughs> really? <laughs> Did you like? That's great. I opened 10 and I got a bunch of boosters. Happy days. Yay! Yo. But, that was... That reminds me. I ain't mad. Uh, they removed Black Lion picks, Black Lion axes, and Black Lion sickles from the Black Lion chests. So that's three shitty things that you arguably don't want removed from the Black yeah. Lion chest, therefore increasing your chance to get what you do want. Oh. That's cool. If that's they would the remove uh, the bags of coins, the, uh, the unidentified dies then that would be even better because you'd have even more, like an even better chance to get what you wanted. Mm. But... I like the wing dice, though. I mean, I don't have any hard data on that, but I have, out of dies that have come out of Black Lion chests, the ones that I've gotten Abyss die from. So... Mm -hmm. And I've gotten at least three or four from that. So, it definite. I don't think that it's, like, a higher drop rate I'm, I'm positive that it's not but uh you know because i don't have a good sample i guess yeah <laughs> i just i don't have a good i don't have a good enough sample size of both to compare it for statistics reasons just like all you gotta do is just drop drop a thousand dollars on black lion keys put the other an excel spreadsheet Boom. yeah i could oh. i mean <laughs> okay, i, I have heard this is like another one of those random things I've heard that I heard people had better luck at crafting precursors with using random things and using the uh, the transmutation or not transmutation the uh, philosopher Mystic stones Mystic Forge yeah. stone yeah I heard people were saying they were having stones. better <laughs> no uh, not the philosopher stones yeah. the uh, the Mystic Forge stone that you add in it just kind of randomizes what you get right. So you could add in three rare weapons and one of those, and it randomly will get you some rare weapon. And uh, people are saying that, again, no hard data, but people are saying, you know, take it with a grain of salt, it's the forums, but uh, saying that they're getting an improved chance of getting precursors that way. I don't know if that's true or not. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, that could just be somebody trolling, but... Yeah. Highly likely. So, Christina says, I got an abyss die from gathering herbs in Metro Province the other day. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gotta love that, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, what else? Did you guys see anything else that was interesting come out of this patch? Not much, because I haven't played much uh, yeah, me either. of this patch anyways, because I was super busy with everything and... Today was my last day of work. Awesome. That sucks, doesn't it? Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Uh, I think they increased the rewards for to Quaddle, which is nice. I don't know exactly what they increased them to because I haven't done them since then. But uh, I know some people in the guild have reported that there are better drops from him. I think they made it so that you can get uh, the, ch the daily chests that were... For the battery phases, you only got those once, and I think you can get them every time now. And uh, I, there's some other things too, but I'm unfortunately not too familiar with the Quattle anymore. So I they even uh, fought it yet. Yeah, me either. <laughs> yeah. Um, if if you if you're fighting off like the fingers, killing the fingers around the turrets, uh, you'll still get credit for the battery events. So that's something that they changed. Nice. And they increase the drops for the sunless weapons. Oh yeah. Oh, that's cool. Huh. That's really cool. Because I think the sunless weapons are a count bound anyway. So they were just super rare. So uh, that's something. Yeah. Um, there's uh, there's actually one other thing that I wanted to mention about the dungeon, and and I hope 
they do this more is that once you beat the dungeon, there are optional things that you can do to get achievement points, but also to get uh, just you know bonus drops or whatever. But they're like just little objectives you can complete once the dungeon is finished. And it, it makes it really cool because you still have stuff to do in there once the last boss is down. So I hope that they stick with that because it's really neat. Mm-hmm. And it's, yeah, first time we've seen anything like that. Yeah. Um, oh, they also added the permanent Mad King finisher and permanent Scarecrow finisher. Yes, and those are Gem awesome. Store. I haven't seen yeah. the animations yet. Aww. They're super cool. You should watch COT versus Episode 1. They're both in there. Yeah, yeah. I watched the three minute beginning p- 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 <laughs> cat butt in my <laughs> face. Cat <laughs> <laughs> the three first minutes of it, but then I needed to do something else. Well, then I got but bored. I will watch it. I will. Thanks. Okay. I promise. Um, yeah. So they're pretty cool. I might pick up the uh, the scarecrow. I do like the scarecrow finisher. It uh, is the coolest thing about the scarecrow is that it it's a f- like when you first start it, all the crows come down on their body, and then the scarecrow plops down when you're finished. Ew. Um, it's really cool. It's, it's awesome. It's, awesome. It's, it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm a fan. Um. But yeah, I don't think there was much else added. Oh, the instant trait reset they added. Where you can reset your trait points from anywhere in the world as long as you're not in combat if you buy those. So yeah. Kind of- I, I It's cool that they're in there. I mean, I, I can't see a really good use for them except in... Maybe there's that once every year time that you need it to like respec in a dungeon or something because you it's going horribly wrong. But, uh, I mean, they're in there. It's cool. At least I'm sure someone's going to use it for something. Yeah. I'm sure my husband will use those all the time. <laughs> he changes <laughs> his builds, like, ugh, I yeah. don't know, so many times. So it, It'll actually be good, I think, for people that do, like, solo runs of dungeons because you can say, okay, for this boss, I have to set this, this up, and then for this next boss, I need to switch my build around to use this and blah, blah, blah. So. Right. Yeah. Guy um, one in the chat room says pugs can use it. Just true. You can say, you know, in the middle of a dungeon going like, hey, you know, you should try this build. Maybe it'll help you. And then <laughs> instead of getting out of the dungeon and getting kicked because he was accidentally the leader. Mm, that needs just, to get fixed. <laughs> yeah, that needs to get fixed big time. The, the LFG tool, um, I, I imagine most people have used it. So it... it it's awesome. I, I don't know if anyone else has an opinion on it, but I think it's great. It's working perfectly. They just need to fix that the leader of the party kicks everybody thing because that's horrible. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely been an issue since the launch of the game. I And, like, I feel like that's just a little thing. I mean, I, mean, I feel. I don't know. I'm not a game <laughs> designer. I don't know. I Yeah, I, I don't want to say I it shouldn't be too hard because I have no idea. But at least if it would just assign someone else in the party leadership when they left, that would be something. At least that, like yeah. as as a holdover until we get something else. But right. yeah, I have no idea how hard that is the program. So um, I do. Uh, I'll link it here in the chat again. Um, we got some updates, some information about the uh, Devin Carver listed that you know World v World season one will start on the eighteenth of October. So I just posted it in there, and it's basically them just saying, in an effort to kind of figure things out better, um, they're still going to refund the ability points on the first like they did, um, but they're going to start it up on the 18th and the reasoning behind it. So it's cool that they're reaching out to the players and letting them know the reasoning why. So that's cool. Um, Just a little update. And then... I did want to link a couple, and if you guys have them, let us know, and we can try to link them, or if anybody has found them. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen the Ascended Armor, or some of you have seen the Ascended Armor that was mined out of the game. Uh, I'm going to put a couple links in the chat here, because I found it for a couple different races. So, I'm linking what I just linked now, was the Human Female Ascended Armor. I'm linking now the Female Asura ascended armor and then i've also got the female char ascended armor now naveen have you seen them nope 
Oh, you can check those links I just posted. They're really spiffy looking. Brahms, how do you feel? Because they're pretty much, they're a big, almost I guess you could call them a controversy. Because what do you mean? some people, some people think that they're just ugly. What? Ugly, ugly, ugly. And you also have to realize the amount of money and effort it would cost you to get these. Because you have to get your crafting up to 500. Mm. Yeah. Spend several gold. And then people are like, and it doesn't even look good. I like it. The heavy armor for female uh, human looks a lot like Kurzic armor to me. Hmm. To me, hmm. anyways. I, I personally am not a fan of how they look, but... I don't mind that they're in the game. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, we have transmutation crystals, so just right over it. Um, but that's another yeah, thing I, people well, are saying here. Or well, like maybe they put them in the game as shitty costumes because okay. that'll that, force you to buy transmutation crystals. That's the most ridiculous crystals. argument ever. Like, why? Why on earth would you assume that a company would sabotage their their game yeah, from their art team? Yeah, I know. That, that's conspiracy theories gone crazy, in my opinion. But yeah, I don't. I mean, there's people that are gonna like them, and there's people that aren't. I am one of those people that don't. But there's other stuff in the game I like that other people don't. Um, and, uh, yeah, like I said before, the more customization we have for stuff like that, the better. Um, and I, it is memory burn actually from our guild that made a really good point. Like, there's still pieces in those that you might be able to pull out to fit in with other stuff, and it might look really good. Uh, like maybe you just change your pants and they look, it looks awesome on your costume now. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess I want to say I can understand why people would be upset, but I kind of don't. Um, mm. I mean, it's it's an armor set. If you don't like it, just don't use it. Yeah. Just right up. I'm with with the people in the chat room though that they, you know, most of them say, well, you can recoil, recolor them, you can use new dyes, and you know, maybe it'll look even much better and yeah. as i was looking through the the armors that's what i was thinking i was like huh i wonder how many dyes you can put on there you know what can you color and to make it change yeah um i think that's going to be very interesting to test out i think my the only if i if i had to complain about anything with armor it's obviously gonna be medium armor because that's what i play uh like I've said a thousand times, I, I would have wished that it would be more something like fur based because I think we need something like that. Uh -huh. And um, that armor, when I look at it, that looks like a heavy armor set yeah. to me because it's got, you know, it's got metal all over it. But I, yeah, I mean, it. I, I don't know. I, I think <laughs> it's, I to say it's a, contra for it to be a controversy, I think is a little... It's a big word. It's a little too much. Yeah. It, yeah. it goes back to what, um, I, I'm sorry, it's totally fair. Uh, what Marnik was saying, actually, in his email. Um, yeah, I, it's just, it's an armor set. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I think I, I just posted the male human version of the armor. Um, I have yet to see a place that has them all categorized together. I do think it's funny that the male light human has like, uh, um, yeah, I think that's kind of funny. But see, like uh, that's that's those are pants that you can incorporate into a lot of other armor sets, and it would look really good. So yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Life uh, Spartan in the chat room says, "Hey, and these armor take into account char tails." <laughs> that's true. So. That's good. It's about time, right? Yes. <laughs> Weren't we talking about that on last show or something? I can't remember. We talked we about might have been. Often. We talked about it recently. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I wanted to just mention all that stuff just to kind of get your guys' opinions. Then I wanted to post this one that I have, which is showing a human female in what I believe to be the medium armor. And this kind of, I feel, just shows how good they can look with the proper dyes so it's just it's only a couple different dye schemes but i feel like it makes them look a lot better yeah it does that's so what i just posted saying. those oh those yep. are nice and nice, take a look at nice, them now very yeah. nice. I like. and yeah see like that that's a piece that's cobbled together like the hall of monuments gloves are on that character um mm -hmm. you know there's no helmet yeah it, it 
I, I don't know. It, it yeah, looks and that's fine. medium armor. Yeah. And I can almost finally get my freaking robot legs that I was denied <laughs> in the past. Almost. So it's uh I, yeah, I definitely think that these uh with with clever die and like you said and memory burn said clever mismatching of your armor because I don't know about you guys and I know memory burn specifically, but I know for me I don't usually wear one solid set of armor. I usually mix and mash my pieces to customize how I like it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So depends. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> All right. But my uh, my armor is really mixed and matched right now. But I'm not the designer. My husband was. Gotcha. So Aaron, the designer. Um, from the Chang yeah. stitches. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. The coffee has gone to your brain. Yeah. Yeah, I got no brain no more. Sugar <laughs> killed it. All right. Well, we, I like I said, unfortunately, I did not do the Twilight Assault dungeon yet, so I can't chime in on that. We can't really go. Well, I can't go into too much details. Brahms could talk about it because he's done it, but. Yeah, that. well, maybe we can talk about it more next week when people okay. have a chance to go into it more. Um, yeah, I mean, it's still pretty fresh, so I'm sure there's still people, well, there's a lot of people that probably haven't done it yet. But uh, there, it's fun. Do it. It's fun. There is one more thing that I just realized, hmm. um, which is the preview image that I just posted there. The preview image for the content that's coming on the 15th. <laughs> We'll know about it next Tuesday. Ooh. What do you guys think? What's all? This that's... is looking like a werewolf, and eh? you're talking about it, the Halloween. Eh? It does look like a hell werewolf, right? I'm not. Maybe I'm it's not... a no, Norn. Sure. It's like, blah, I'm wearing leather armor now for some reason. But look, it's got claws. Yeah, but Norn bears have claws. Herbert or bolts or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Like it's <gasps> Jormax champion. I don't. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> it's no. it's it's orangey colored, like the text and everything. And you got orange in the background, orangey brown. Halloween? So I'm I'm yeah. I'm thinking Halloween. Uh, Wooden potato said he thought it looked like a Norn, almost like a Havrun, like a Norn shaman. Mm. I don't really. I don't get that personally. Looking at it. I don't think it's Mad King Thorn. But the reason it doesn't look like a Norn is because it's wearing clothing. And I don't I don't think I've seen a Norn in their animal form that wears clothing, but It's a werewolf. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not I'm not convinced of what it is. It does have kind of like a wolf looking snout, like the nose there. So I I don't know. I could buy that. I mean it could be just for Halloween. It could stuff. be Mad King Thorn. It could be Burnt. It could be. They said they car. They said the townspeople got very creative with his face when they went in to overthrow him. Which <laughs> I assume that they carved his face into like a jack o' lantern. Yuck. I don't know. Um. But, uh, you know, it's fun to speculate. Next Tuesday, we'll know. We'll be able to talk a little bit more about it. Come this. Uh, what's it called? Come this next podcast next week. Uh, I would again like to point out to people that there are Twitter accounts for some Guild Wars 2 characters like Lord Vanquish from the Super Adventure Box, Scarlet Briar, uh, Lord Farron. They're posted on, you know, they post usually stuff ahead of time before other, pe- you know, before that's officially posted on the website. I'd be willing to see what other people could find if there's any other interesting ones out there. Like maybe Queen Jenna has one, maybe Mad King Thorn has one. Who knows? The nose be worth. <laughs> it'd be it's worth scoping Mad out. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it would be worth scoping out Twitter to see what we could come up with. Like he's gonna flip a table. <laughs> I <can't>... <sighs> yeah, I might. <laughs> uh... Not the hotel table. You're gonna have to pay for that no. too. Live Spartan in the chat says Carl McLean and Roy are doing 
a live stream October 11th to talk about features and adjustments. Um, it also should be right around the time coming up, I think, for another Guild Wars 2 Guru State of the Game, uh, which we'll talk about the upcoming you know updates to PvP and stuff. So I'll keep my eyes on that, and I'll, I'll listen into that and be sure if there's anything good to update you guys. I've been hearing rumors that the patch that's coming out in the middle of October is going to be a balance patch. I think it's, it's either the 15th or the 18th. So that's cool. Yeah. Because I, there were all those leaked patch notes that we talked about a while ago. And uh, yep. yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see if that stuff all kind of comes to fruition or if it's other stuff. But. Yeah, there was a preview released on the forums, I believe, that was like a preview of the updates, or maybe it was even on the official website, of some of the updates that are going to be coming on the 15th of October. And they like kind of went very high level, like, you can expect this for rangers and this for engineers and things like that but like really high level stuff to let you kind of know what's going to be happening so uh i'm hopeful that'll be some good stuff coming out yeah you went <gasps> before navina you didn't say anything uh it's just no um because no? last Spart spartan said that there was a stream on october 11th but i was like oh cool but then i was like <gasps> no it's my wedding anniversary on october 11th i won't be there Oh no! You you guys can do like a wedding Guild Wars podcast. You, like listen to it together. Yay. That's all. That's sweet. It's nice. <laughs> nice. And that like, that, a that's a thing. People do that, right? What What's on the fifth year anniversary? I don't know. Is that a thing? Blah, 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 blah. Happy anniversary! Let's go to like Dying. candlelight dinner, waffles, candles. Listen to the podcast in each other's <laughs> ear. Things. It's adorable. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's a live stream. Uh, and Christina says you could have a romantic <laughs> live stream viewing night. Exactly. Like we Fifth have year one. anniversary. Silverware? Silverware. Well, the traditional <laughs> one is wood. I love you. Here's a spoon. <laughs> the, traditional, the traditional is wood. Modern is silverware. In the U.S., I guess. Who would? <laughs> yeah. I Here's can always hear it. Yeah, damn straight, you'll get some wood. And I guess he should get you daisies. <laughs> That's the flower for your fifth anniversary. Daisies. I, I don't know. That's what Wikipedia says. That sounds silly. Technically, you're not supposed to get another diamond till your 60th wedding anniversary. Holy God. I'll probably be dead. <laughs> well, that's a grim thought. Thanks. Way to bring it down, Naveen. <gasps> Although, if you go with the modern U.S. rules, you should get diamond jewelry for your 10th anniversary. Oh, but that's in five years. Traditional is tin. Oh, tin. Yeah. Tin for your 10th anniversary. Traditionally, diamond for the modern one. Yeah, I'll just ask him for coffee. <sighs> what year is the, pr is the precursor? Oh. Let me see if that's in here. What year is the precursor? Oh, I don't see it. <laughs> Here's a can. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's like you Are could you eat bored? SpaghettiOs for your dinner and then oh, wash out the can. There you go. You're oh, set. thank you. I'll just that's a multi-purpose gift. Two presents in one. Tim Horton's coffee ring. Yeah. <laughs> a year's anyway. supply of coffee. Anyways, go I don't, two. that was it. Yeah, I, I don't really think we have much more. We don't. I don't have a question of the week. Do you guys have one? Al Carolina would remind me if I didn't say anything. So, yeah. <laughs> um, um, no, I don't have one. Problems? Yeah, I don't either. Nope. All right, you guys get a break. We're a little disheartened after we only had one response last week. Starting next week, though. My heart literally broke in two. <sighs> Yep. Yeah. Only one response last week. Just. Right oh, well. <laughs> so sad. All right, guys. We're kind of. I feel like we're just talking yeah, for the on. sake of talking now. People yeah. already. You know, I pressed would never stop. ever do that. No. They're like, screw this podcast. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Don't do that. No. If you do that, I will hunt you. 
<laughs> uh, uh, all right, guys. I think we're going to wrap this up then. <laughs> on that Ooh. note. Um, oh, hang on. <coughs> Caramon wants me to give a tour of, <laughs> of my hotel room. Oh, God. Which I'll do. What the hell, right? Sure. Yeah, unplug. You know what? What else we got to do, right? Uh, all right, guys. End the okay. podcast. <laughs> no, no, we don't have to do that. Oh, what did you do last night? I sat online with Lago and while he took me around his hotel room. It sounds creepy, but it was. Hey guys. Hey guys. Look at this. Oh wow. This. Let's see. There's a couch. And here you yeah. see an orange couch. Oh, I'm stepping on my. So right there, that's where I sat to do the podcast. Whoa! Cool. When you look through that, is I can't talk, but it looks cool. <laughs> there, was, there was a word I was looking for and I forgot what it was. Nice. There's a there's a TV over there. Go over here to my my fancy kitchen. Oh. Da, 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 it's a fancy kitchen. The Where's microwave? Your wife? I got a... She's not making you sandwiches. You should be. I got a, I got a dishwasher. <laughs> I don't know how useful. I don't know how useful a dishwasher is in a hotel wow. kitchen. There's my my fridge. <laughs> I like how he just glossed right over that one. I heard everything she said. I'm just oh, I'm he sure usually he ignores me. Like after a year, he he doesn't even pay attention to me. Here in the separate room, here's my king size bed. He's what up? A king size bed. Are you expecting a king tonight? <laughs> I'm the king, Browns. He's Hail the, to the king, king baby. Oh. <laughs> um, there's my other TV. Open the there's fridge. The this is entertainment at its finest. <laughs> Open the oh, fridge. You guys want me to open the fridge? <laughs> what the hell? Oh my I don't goodness. have anything to do. And here we see Lagwin walking around in his hotel room, opening <laughs> the fridge and revealing absolutely nothing. Nothing. You're welcome, Internet. We just lost so. five subscribers. <laughs> yeah, but think of all the people in the hotel that are like, whoa, this is awesome. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the bathroom. It's a bathroom. I don't think I'm going to go it's in the bathroom. It's a bathroom. Weird. This is where That'd it be puts weird. one in the this is like, uh This is like the Blair Witch Project right now. <laughs> you had your lights off. I'm like, so <gasps> oh, my God. What's up, COT? Welcome to my crib. Here it is. Check it out. <laughs> You're spinning. I'm going to puke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, that was enough. Now I'll have to carry you guys. <laughs> I have a 27 inch Mac. <laughs> it's pretty heavy. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, you're welcome, <laughs> guys. Glad that you wanted to see that. You can all blame Caramon. It was lovely because uh, I'm not inviting you in my parties anymore, Caramon. <laughs> wow. You made me look at his empty fridge. Where's your wife? My wife, at home working. What are you doing in a hotel without your wife? working do you not know how business trips work hey where's your husband Naveen well <laughs> he's working tell me <laughs> yeah and you're not with him but I'm at home <laughs> <laughs> uh. yeah exactly she's at home with the dogs my headphones are coming off my face uh, no I had to come up here to, to learn about some new software so you know but I got free dinner, so that's cool. Awesome. I love a hotel that gives you free beer and dinner. So the, the way that your mic cord is coming down, it looks like Batman has a lightsaber. Not Naveen. Knock. Naveen, you. What? He's talking to you. Batman with a lightsaber. Your mic cord. Yeah. Doesn't it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Batman. <moving>. Oh. <laughs> no. All right, guys. That's enough of that. Hey, lag. Knock, yes. knock. Who's there? It's your free prostitute waiting for you at your door. <laughs> Cause you're it's my free hotel. prostitute waiting at my door. Who? Oh, you got me. <laughs> the worst knock, knock joke ever. That joke was awesome. I'm going to write it down in my joke book. It's good. I'm He's gonna, getting I'm everything for go free in his hotel room. room. <clears throat> knock, knock. Who's there? I mean, I can go. I could go check the door to prove that there's not 
prostitute there. I don't how about how about we stop putting these people in their misery or put them up? <laughs> Shut up! The Shut up, words! Stop coming out of my mouth. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching and putting up with the shenanigans. Yes, the uh, old COT podcast. <laughs> the show's done. I quit. Yeah. So, for episode number sixty-five of the Chronicles of Tyria podcast, I'm Lagman. I am Brahms. And I am Naveen. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>